Hi and welcome to cubicate.com. This is Mazir Sharifian and I'm back after a long vacation. Before starting this new tutorial, I want to say thanks to all the feedback and comments I got from my tutorial on how to migrate from After Effects to Nuke. I really do appreciate it. And I'll do my best to have more in-depth tutorials now that I see most of you are getting interested in this incredible application. So let's get back to this short but really handy tutorial. Skin retouching using frequency separation. So first, let's see what's frequency separation. By googling it, we end up seeing these pictures before and after. What is it? What is frequency separation? Basically, it's a technique used in post-production to remove unevenness of a surface in a footage. Like, as you can see in these pictures, like wrinkles or freckles on a face, or even in some cases, it could be cracks on a wall. Uh, you may ask, what is the difference between this technique and maybe just a simple blur note? Basically, what it does is that it separates the high frequency and low frequency of an image and combine them by removing the mid frequency, as you can see here. Uh, so the high frequency would be the details, the texture of a skin, and the low frequency would be that blur note or blur effects that you were referring to. Uh, overall, the difference is that it maintains the details and textures of a surface. Of course, if you are a Photoshop professional, you may already know this technique and already using it in your still images. But the good news is that now you can apply it on your sequences of images. Obviously I won't get into details of like rotoscopy. I assume as a new artist you already know that. I will just show you the node setup. And in the end of this tutorial as a bonus I will share a simple gizmo I made for Nuke to do frequency separation with just a click without going into trouble of setting up the notes every single time. So without further ado, let's get started. So here, first we have an, our image. In our case it's just a still image, but obviously you can use a video, of, obviously you know that, right? But for the sake of this tutorial to make it fast, uh, I'll just pick an image. The first step needs to be done is that we add a blur node. Basically what we are doing in the first phase is that uh, defining the details of the skin, the texture. Obviously we wanted to remove the uh, freckles here, in our case. So uh, I'll just add uh, a merge from and add a little bit of blur. Uh, this operation is actually uh, checking the difference between uh, our original footage and the blurred one, which is this. So basically we wanted to preserve these details later on in our, like, with frequency separation technique. And obviously if you just uh, use a lot of, let me just put it in one, you can see one at a time. So uh, if you just uh, increase it, uh, obviously you, you will get back to your original image. I mean, obviously all of the freckles, everything will get back. So for now, let's just put it at 10. The next step is that we add this back into the original. Uh, so basically what's happening here with a plus merge plus node is that this is like, like a difference. I guess in Photoshop it's called difference between these two. This is going to add that difference back into our original image. If I check this and this, they are the same. So at this point, we got the details and we put it back on top of that image. So we are having basically the actual image. But we don't want to do that. We wanted to add a blur note, another one here. Uh, so the actual image is going to be a little bit blurred out. So uh, those kind of freckles here uh, would be gone. So with this second blur note, I'm going to add maybe another 10 in our case. So let's get into the details of the skin here. So um, as you can see, this is before, this is after. Hmm, not much of a difference. Let's just increase this. And sorry, I mean this, haha. <laughs> uh, so now you're starting to see something, the difference here. The other thing that's happening here is that it's going to uh, kind of 
uh, blur the uh, details of other places that you don't want that effect on. Always when you're using this uh, effect, this technique in Nuke, you need to apply a mask to restrict that effect as well. So in our case, I'm going to add a roto node to our second blur node. And uh, here, for now, I'll just do something like, like this. So I guess now, if you look at the uh, before and after, you're starting to see the uh, difference. Obviously here, let me just put some labels here so you understand what's happening here. So here we have our high frequency or the details. Here we are having our, oh yeah, you got it, low frequency. Uh, this is the details, this is the low frequency detail. Now we have before and after. Uh, you can just maybe, I mean, we can just decrease the details. You don't want that much of a detail because we are still seeing some of the uh, stuff here. So we can just maybe reduce it. But uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, if I just make it into zero, obviously we are seeing the blur, the low frequency stuff. But if we increase it too much, we are getting back into our original image. It should be something in between maybe here. Yeah, that's it. I mean, we have it. We have our... Uh, set up here. Just uh, one thing is that instead of a blur node, maybe you can use a median, uh, but just be mindful of using median in Nuke because it's super, super slow. So for instance, we have like a 30, <laughs> 30 as the value for the blur here for the size. Uh, let me just make it into like 20 or something because 30 in, uh, or 20, yeah, it's going to be uh, it's really, really slow. So let me put the median as well into 20 and let's just switch it and see what's the difference. The first and obvious is the, uh, you know, the loading <laughs> because it's super slow. And if I just remove the mask, it's going to take forever, I guess. I'll just pause the video for now. Pew. That took about a minute, I guess, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, just a frame, just imagine you're working on a sequence. So maybe the best way would be like uh, maybe pre-render it or something. But now let's see the difference. You see? So it's, as you can see, you don't have the bleeding effect here. Uh, if I put it back. So it's much like uh, kind of a sharp edges. But... Uh, you need to use uh, a rotor node anyway, so it, it really depends on you if you want to use a median node or a blur node. In, in most of the times, I would use a uh, blur node. Let's just put it back if it, don't, it doesn't crash, I hope. Okay, I, I almost thought it, 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 it crashed, but <laughs> it's not. So uh, let's just put it back and Let's just put a mask in so we know. So obviously you need to add like uh, different masks uh, so you can just have the areas that you want this effect to be applied. Now let's get to that bonus that I told you about. I'm quite sure you're waiting for that. So let's just delete everything and uh, go to, instead of this, go to my website and if you go to this link, uh, which is in the description as well, it's kbcad.com uh, slash downloads, uh, you have this, uh, the link of this. Oh, and it's zero downloads. You can be the first one to download this. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, or maybe I can download it right now, but I, I got it already. It's okay. So uh, when you download, uh, it's, it's going to be a zipped folder. Uh, and uh, opening it, uh, you have these folders and Python codes. All you need to do is that you need to find the um, uh, this dot nuke folder in your um, account. Uh, so in in my case, which is Windows, it's going to be in users, my name, and dot nuke folder. And if it's uh, you, you can't see that, it's easy. It's it might be like hidden or something. So you can just go to view and just show hidden items and uh, just paste these uh, Python codes and the folders 
And uh, if you already have menu.py or init.py, you may already know what to do. It's like instead of copying this, uh, you, you can just copy the contents of the Python contents of uh, the code here and just, just add it to your own Python code. So, so basically what these do, this is initial. Nuke always checks init.py and it refers to the gizmos and icons folders and menu.py adds uh, the gizmo and icon into your toolbar. So after downloading it and after copying it, you get back here and of course don't forget to restart your nuke. You will have a new icon in your toolbar, the cubic head tools and uh, you have the frequency separation here. So uh, I have this, I'm going to apply it or maybe just search for it. Uh, frequency, oh sorry, it's called ch underline um, and frequency separation. Now all you need to do is that add your rota note and just, I mean first I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just maybe use something like this on the cheek. I need to do that and then um, just come here, it's super easy. This is the blur, the amount of blur you need to be applied and the amount of details you want it to be back. So it's super, super easy and convenient for you. It's just two sliders and uh, you can just uh, toggle between uh, or switch between median effect and blur effect as well. I mean, right now you can see the difference. If I just click this, uh, you will see what's happening here. So it's, it, it's, it's better effect right now. Uh, but so instead of this, you can just increase this, like right? Instead of just uh, making the render time super slow. And uh, obviously, if you have a moving object, you need to do the roto. So, I mean, I don't know what technique you're using, or you can just do your roto in other applications like Siloath or here by different techniques or like by tracking or just using a simple mask and just animating it. I mean, I, I, it doesn't matter. But the thing is that it, in, in sequences of images, you need to obviously animate the mask and uh, you have it. You have a skin retouched. Thanks again for watching this tutorial. This is Mazir Sharifian from cubicad.com. I hope to see you next time.